Welcome back to Imagine It. Carl Nelson here already warned me I gotta put on my gloves. I just remembered. You said this is a messy one, huh? This, this can be a messy one. All right. I brought, I brought with me some really cool stuff today. I brought a, uh, a plastic which dissolves in water. All right. All right, so once you get your gloves on there, um, I'm gonna have you try it in this uh, little glass of water right in front of you. I've been trying to dissolve a lot of it in the blender over here, so let me give this a blast. <laughs> we're gonna need a lot for what we're gonna do here. But why don't you go ahead and try to dis stick that down in the water okay. and see what happens. Go ahead and play with it a little bit. Is it's this like those <clears throat> breath strips that kind of dissolve on your tongue? Uh, a little, it's, it's, <laughs> it's like that. Of okay. sorts. It's called polyvinyl alcohol. Now, they don't use polyvinyl alcohol for the breath strips. Okay. okay go ahead and pull that out. What does it look like when you yeah, it's look all at that? It's getting yeah. all stringy. It's all stringy. What would you possibly want a plastic that dissolves in water for? A Any joke, ideas? maybe? A practical a joke? practical <laughs> joke, okay, okay. Well, what about these things? Do you ever uh, wash your dishes oh, in a dishwasher? Yeah. Yeah. Polyvinyl alcohol, the wrapper, so that it dissolves in the water. Or, I don't know if you've ever enjoyed the passion peel-off. <laughs> I've never seen that. <laughs> it's, a, it's like a face mask, right? So you put it on, the water evaporates, leaves behind like a little film that you can pull off your face. Hmm. Tina knows Tina about knows that. Tina knows about it. <laughs> the other big use for this stuff is in hospitals, right? Garbage, uh, no, laundry bags that have contaminated clothing. You just take the whole bag, you throw the whole thing in the washing machine, the plastic dissolves, you wash the clothes, you never have to touch them. Wow, that's better living through chemistry. It is, it's All really right. cool. Now, we don't do that sort of stuff at the Science Center. What we do is we make slime from this, okay? <laughs> of course. Now, now, the polyvinyl <laughs> alcohol is a long chain polymer. It's like a plate of spaghetti, if you will, spaghetti right. noodles. And what we really wanna do is sort of cross-link those things together so they're sort of stuck together, so they're not just watery. Now, um, What's the green holiday that's coming up here? No, oh, yeah, yeah, St. Patty's Day. St. Yeah, Patty's Day, go. all right. So we're gonna add a little green food coloring in here. We're gonna make some green slime. Now, <laughs> by itself, the polyvinyl alcohol here, it's just liquidy. The blender adds in some really nice air bubbles in there, so it's got a <laughs> yeah. nice texture to it. This is not gonna be very interesting at all by itself. But if we do add in a little borax, it's a laundry booster. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got your hand on it right got there. Got it right here. You can get it in the laundry aisle. Um, it will cross-link those polymers. So. Tony, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to add a little bit of this, bit of this in here. Go okay. ahead and mix that up with, okay. your, Just with your glove. With the glove. Just get, get your whole hand A little bit there. of glove love here. Your whole hand right. don't, don't be shy. Yep, yep. All right. All right. It is uh, gelling. Well, it's go ahead. gelling pull like it Magellan, oh, everybody. Pull, pull okay. it straight up. Pull it straight up. Look at that. There we go. <laughs> the slime factory. All right. So what's happening is those polymers are getting cross-linked, and we are getting a really nice sticky, gooey. <laughs> we're getting slimed. Getting, we're getting slimed there. <laughs> now, okay, you're probably not going to have polyvinyl alcohol at home. It's not a common <laughs> common stock item, right? So right. Yeah, you're just stuck with that stuff. It's oh, wow, it does stick. Huh? How about that? It is very sticky. Once you cross-link <laughs> those polymers, they're not coming off. However, mm. what you might have at home would be a little school glue. School glue, or clear glue, is polyvinyl acetate. It's very similar to this stuff. Um, now this is like the super premium slime. The stuff you're gonna make here, Tony. This is consumer grade slime. This is, this is consumer grade slime. But this is stuff you can do at home. Okay. Now that's just like 50-50 mix of uh, school glue and water. But if we do add in some of this borax, okay. check out what happens. We'll add a little bit of that in there. Go ahead and keep mixing with your, there you go. With so your if you clean wanna, hand. Try this at home, or if you wanna go down to the imagination station and try it out, I'm sure they can hook you up with some slime. <laughs> Absolutely. Or check out our yeah, Pull this stuff out. Check oh, out. Look, look at that. that. There we go. We got to make a mess here. That's homemade slime right That's there, homemade everybody. homemade slime right there. All right. Well, you know, <laughs> this is that season where kids are making their own slime uh, inadvertently. They're just uh, sneezing it all over. <laughs> it's great polymer chemistry. Great polymer chemistry. So uh, come down and check out uh, Imagination Station. We're open today, 10 to 5, and uh, children 12 and under are free today. Thanks for coming. Carl Nelson with Imagine It. Now over to Tina.